mercy. Uh, that was it, man. I got it. But the Lord can have mercy on you. Right. And put that spirit right back on you. That's right. Through mercy, through you repenting. That's the whole point of repenting, man. Yep. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, because we, what, the Lord, what the Lord say, don't put off day to day of coming to him. Okay? That's talking about coming in truth in general, of, of, of going ahead and going over. That's talking about the brothers in the truth that are tripping at the moment. And you know you got to get to that word and you keep going it off. That's what the Lord's talking about. He said you keep going it off before you know it, that rock is going to come on you through your security. The Lord says, shall he find faith when he come on the earth? That's right. Let me say this real quick. The Lord is merciful, man. That's one thing you got to always push to. The Lord is going to judge America. The Lord is going to judge the wicked. The Lord is going to judge you if you ain't right. But the Lord is, pit he said he's pitiful and merciful. He said, who has he forsaken that called on him? Who? And he said, look in the history of all time. Who has he forsaken that sincerely called upon him? Even if that dude was tripping. Right. That's, that's what we got to think about in our everyday struggle, man. Because if you don't, you're going you to fall out the truth, man. You're going to fall out. Because why? You just thought the was going to kill you today. But the next day, you know the going to kill you. You got to repent and have faith, man. Go ahead. People calling on their name. There's a, uh, there's a chapter in Psalms that talks about His mercy and doing whatever I can't find it. Uh, the whole chapter just talks about His mercy. Yeah, yeah. That's a good part. That's a good attribute of the Most High that we have to cover. Even even more so as much as the judgment. Because that judgment is mercy. Even though whoever got, took out the judgment didn't get mercy. But that's part of the mercy. He did it from the foundation of the earth. The people that he was going to chose to have mercy. That's John. right. And he said he will raise them up in the last days. Right. And, 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 and later on my spirit, let me say this too. This is it's also important. You got to have that same mercy towards each other, man. You got, because the Lord said, you trip, you're not having mercy on this person, but you expect the most high to save you. The, the Lord should kill you. You want to kill this dude, but the Lord want to kill you. Oh, 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 he could kill you. Oh, he could kill you. And that's talking about amongst the brotherhood. Right, right. That's talking about amongst right. the brotherhood. We were just reading earlier how you can't be uh, unequally yoked with non-believers. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 us that believe in this truth, that have mercy. that's who that applies to. That's right. To have mercy when you're getting on a brother that, that's gonna take heed to what you're saying. Yeah, not, right. some nigga, no, not some nigga, not some nigga with a with a with a with a with a elephant-sized deal on the side of his head. Nah. I can't roll. Nah, nah, sure. We're not gonna roll. Hey, so, hey. So, you know what I'm saying? And all these other and you and, 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 and I'm gonna keep on saying this about you whole ass niggas that brought Sarnetta to the Passover, man. That's we can't kick it with y'all, man. That's what I'm saying. We've been correcting you niggas. We've been correcting you niggas through the spirit for the past few years, man. Y'all ain't. That's what I'm saying. Y'all ain't. Y'all ain't about this word, man. That's what I'm saying. These these niggas had a picnic with their enemy. In the time of judgment. That's, that's right. So that ain't talking. That ain't no, what, right. what this brother going into. That ain't talking about them. That's talking about Mercy. amongst the brotherhood. Yeah. 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 That's right. The ones right. who believe. Right. Hey, right. the ones on the same football team. This football team is called the Most High. Yes. Okay. That's right. The believers are the Most High. That's who we have. Now, the other people. Sometimes you have to weaken their ignorance. The Lord said we can. You had to weaken ignorance sometimes because you understand the scriptures. Okay. Yep. I'm saying. If a white man came out of the street and said, you nigger, guess what? I'm going to laugh and wink at it because I know his downfall is coming. That's right. That's right huh? You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to get mad. That's really turning the other cheek. Turn on the cheek. Right. All right. Go ahead. Going back to what you're going into. Sirach 18 and 30. Right. Go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thy appetite. Right. The appetite is, is, is wicked stuff. That, yeah. that, and it ain't got to be wicked, but it can turn to wickedness because why? You start worshiping. Yeah. That's all, that's all the way you're going to be in, in tune with the Spirit is refraining yourself from wicked desires, the common desires that can turn wicked because now you worship it. Right. That's what it's talking about. Because, like I said, that transition from the world to the Word to the Most High God, that transition, you have to stop doing a lot of things, man. And that's that sacrifice. And the only ones who won't stop doing it and continue to stop doing it is the ones, is the elect. Go ahead. If thou givest thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies that malign thee. Yeah, me meaning the Lord ain't going to defend you. Man. The Lord ain't going to go, go, like it says in Psalm 91, come and dwell in a secret place. You ain't going to be in that secret place. Okay? You're going to be outside the secret. Go ahead. Take thou, I mean, 
Take not pleasure in much good cheer. Be not tied to the expense thereof, man. That's right, and 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 we're going into this why? Because at the end of the day, you want a crown. That's right. You want the Lord to put a crown in your head and say, you did good, you overcame the world. Okay? Even though everything was against you. You overcame it and endured through all this fire I put on you. Therefore, I'm gonna give you a crown. Yep. And sin is a click away, man. That's sin is man. A, anywhere you walk, man. There's <laughs> sin, man. There's women that brothers can get like that, man. But when you come into this truth, man, you gotta yeah, right. you gotta turn down a lot of pussy, man. That's thrown at you, man. That's right. You right. gotta become a real man. That's what being a real man is all about, man. That's right. That's right. Because in the world, we thought that as many women as we slept with made us a man. But now that you come into this thing, there are certain women that your spirit don't agree with that can ruin your soul, and you can ruin her. Empire, a lot of women you don't need to be dealing with, man. That's right. Yeah. Like when you read all about this, that's that, you know, I bring up women because that's the main downfall of I the men of these nations, man. That's right. That's you right. know, you can't go after your your appetite all the time. A lot of times you gotta uh, suffer, man, yeah. and the Lord will give you something uh, better in the end. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I say that's right. well, that's that's go. that's uh, having discipline, man. Yep. This is how they talk about in Wisdom Solomon yep. six chapter. The want of discipline is the want of a kingdom, man. It's going perfectly with the blood sometimes. Right? Uh, receiving that crown, man. That's right. Having discipline is true. That's what's going to get us in, in, into the into most side willing. Well, now we're not even more side willing. Into, into the heavens. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, you hey, and guess what? You ain't going to get it perfect because the Lord didn't die on the cross for no reason. He died because you know you, you ain't got it. Right. You ain't got it by yourself. Yep. But if you believe in me, you have a chance. Yep. That, 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 that's what it's about. If you believe in me through my blood, through my pain, I might put you up in there. But it's not a guarantee. For all those ones I've been saved for 20 years, you ain't saved because you're still in hell. Yeah. You ain't saved until the Lord come down and save you physically. The Lord ain't sought you know out the righteous. Ain't no, right. yeah. ain't no mythical saving going on here. That's right. It's actually a prophecy physically that's going to happen. Yeah, that ain't no mythical. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think it's a movie or something. The Lord going to come down and be a Spider Man. It's going to seem like a movie. Give you you ain't going to believe it. Give you ice cream sandwich. Nah, come on, man. Go ahead. Uh, Sirach 17 and 24, but unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. For them that repent, that failed in patience, when he comforted them, why? Because they returned. They weren't doing what they're supposed to do, but guess what? They say, you know what? I'm going to get back to the real instruction, the real God, so I can stop feeling what I'm feeling and, and have hope in the Lord. Go ahead. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Right. Make prayer before his face and offend less. Oh, right. offend <laughs> so he, less. He go off, man. Oh, right. key word, offend less. Because you're going to consistently offend the Lord, because why? Everything is set. Everything is set against us. Everything. Be angry and sin not. Right. Guess what? If you somehow make it through it by the grace of the Lord, go ahead and get that scripture. Go and get that. It's the Second Ezra, chapter, chapter two, verse number, uh, uh, verse forty-two. Yeah. I Ezra saw upon Mount Zion a great people. This is the prophet Ezra seeing a prophecy in this time. Back in ancient time, he sent a prophecy in this time, because the Lord is showing him a vision. Go ahead. Whom I could not number, and they praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a there was a young man of high stature. Right. Hey. In the midst of those men, there was a man in high stature. Who was that guy? Go ahead. Right. Taller, taller than all the rest. Who you call Jesus? Which is not his name, but who you call Jesus? He was taller than the rest. This is a prophecy that a prophet seen in ancient time that he seen for this time while you walking around. This is gonna happen in your lifetime. Go ahead. That's right, brother. God, that's right. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. Why did he set crowns? Because the whole world hated them. Because the Lord said, no, that they hated me. No, they hated me first. They gonna hate you. That's right. They hate you, but guess what? They hated me first. That's right. So he gave you a crown. Why? Because when the Lord was on the scene, what these pastors keep ignoring, these churches keep ignoring, they hated the Lord. They hated the prophets. They stoned them, threatened to kill them. Really did kill them. Why? Because why? Because they didn't go along with the 
world tradition. Like we don't go along with the world tradition. That's right. No, the Lord wouldn't put them no Christmas tree. Cause that's a pagan holiday. Hide Easter Okay? Eggs. No, no, the Lord wouldn't hide Easter eggs. Right. Because that's something that the this wicked world has created for you to worship. But it has nothing to do with God. Right. But society will make you believe it. That's yeah. why. You in church, yeah. make it, have an Easter egg. But you tell a, a Negro and the people on this side that you're celebrating the Passover, they'll laugh you to scorn and say you yeah. crazy, you man. Right, but right. they celebrating Christmas, which Jeremiah the 10th chapter told you never not to do that, man. Yeah. Right. Put up a tree and decorate yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the description. Not to grown do. ass man <laughs> on the side of the house putting up Christmas lights, man. <laughs> yeah. Putting your kids in those damn Halloween costumes. Yeah, that's right. Put one in that church, man. And also the, uh, the Easter that they celebrate is mocking the. Uh, uh, the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, man. That's right, that's right. That, that, that's mocking the, uh, the Lord and Savior, man. Oh, oh hey, 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 yep. say this. Speaking of Halloween, real quick, speaking of Halloween. When Halloween come, my kids already know. You ain't going on Halloween. <laughs> that's right. You know, I ain't getting no costume, yeah. okay? You want to make a costume, go get that sheet off the bed. Bring to me, I'll tie it around your neck, you can fly around the goddamn house. <laughs> <laughs> All right? That's right. But other than that, other than that, you ain't going to go costume. And that's why on the news lately, what's been happening? These kids are eating candy. These kids are eating candy laced with drugs, laced with razor blades, and getting their tongue cut up. Semen. You're not supposed to do that anyway. Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell is a, a demon googling? Yeah. Talking, talking about boo hoo, booga booga thing has to do with the Lord. The thing is this, man. There's a spiritual war going on on the earth, man. That's right. And if you can't see that, something's wrong with you, man. That's right. This world is going into Satan. That this world is giving over to Satan, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And people in the midst of that standing up for what's right, and that's what you see before. For you man that's right. right a group of men that are standing up for what's right according to the scriptures and we are by the way the true jews of the bible that's right, right. we are the true israelites of the bible that's, that's right. right that's right all right that's right go ahead and finish it uh, it was more exalted which i marveled at greatly so i asked the angel and said sir what are these who, who are those guys that the lord was putting that crown on at the end of the world when america got destroyed when world war three just just happened go ahead uh, Don't even worry about it, bro. Verse 45. He answered and said unto me. He answered and said unto me. Hey, hey, take these be they that have put off the mortal clothing. Oh, they put off that bull crap that they was doing. They put off their sins, even though they were still offended. But they put off. They sacrificed, man. They actually put in work in this truth. Yeah, there's a, that, that's those guys. About a, that's talking about a group of men that's on the planet Earth. That's the beautiful thing about this truth is if right. we are those men, we're reading about ourselves, man. Right, it's a prophecy. <laughs> hey, 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 right now, guess what? We read the scripture. I'm pushing everybody's mind. I'm pushing everybody's mind. They hope that Andrew saw your face. You better hope the answer saw your face. Yeah, yeah, like, every time I like, man, I so hope he saw my face. Smiling with that crown on my head. I don't know, but I hope. Go ahead. Uh, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on Im the immortal. Put on this word and believe it. Put on wisdom. The Lord, your house, your house shot. Believe in the name. Preach the name. Pray to the name. Okay, go ahead. That's right. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Uh, have confessed. So why they been so mad at Jim Mans these past years? Because we confess his name. Huh? They arguing with us because wait, wait, wait a minute. You say y'all don't have the name. Either either they got the wrong name, or we don't have the name yet. We get the name later. Yeah, that's that's foolish. But the Lord said that He's crying to the guys that confessed it, and that was sure that it was His name. Yeah. They were sure, and they confessed it. And, and this is a prophecy that took place before the kingdom. Right, right. That's right. So they were, they were, they were being rewarded for standing stiff. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now are they crowned and receive palms? Right. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them? Right. And giveth them palms in their hands. Right. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the Most High. Yeah, I was shy, man. He he is going to do that. The spirit of his father. He's gonna do that. And the reason the scripture's coming out is because that's what you're here for. Right? That's what you're here for, man. You write notes, those you watching videos, you learn and going through scriptures, freaking freaking uh deep parables out. Why? Because you wanna be one of those guys that Ed was talking about. You wanna be one of those guys. Okay, you ain't doing this to get destroyed. You you're trying to do
do this and endure with it to the end so you may be saved. Okay. The Lord don't lie. He said, if you endure to the end, I'm going to save you. Right. Period. That's right, Akia. Yeah. Period. I'm not going to add to that. I'll tell you what. Right. So I know if I want to make it, personally, and all these guys know around the world, we have to endure to the end. Everybody has to. Right. People fall down left and right and you're going to die. And it easy could be you because the most high has to put your spirit to you. So that's how we don't know. It's the most high's will, man. That's right, Akia. Go ahead. You can do all of this, huh? Roll off. Yeah, and at the very end, you fall them off. Go ahead. It is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. We confessed. We confess him. And we confess the Father. Yeah, how we have a shot, man. And we believe in that name. Even through our hardest times, man. Our hardest times when it's looking very ugly. You know what I'm saying? When we ain't really on point like we should be. You still praying. Because you know that you have to pray to get back on point. Because it ain't just you just doing it like you think. The Most High has to bless you, man. He has to give you the spirit to continue. That's, right. That's, right. That's why you can't be proud and puffed up in the truth. That's because right. Because you can be puffed up and get puffed right goddamn down to the goddamn ground. Yep. With no knowledge. Now you believe that the Son is God Himself. Yeah. Now you're going to a school with, with Bill Gates, and Bill Gates is your teacher now. And he's teaching you evolution. That can happen. As crazy as it sounds, it can happen, man. You could be hanging with Will Smith and Tom Cruise, and y'all talking about evolution.